I don't know if I want my glasses on or off. Okay. How do you introduce this? Hey guys! Guys, I have Montez back. I'm just gonna introduce us. I have Montez back again, you all. So are. today we're having a mukbang. Why you guys say so ghetto? Cause that's how, it's, when I read it, that's what I think of in my head, mukbang. Y'all, we about to eat some good old chicken. Some chicken wings, all flats, yeah. cause that's all I eat, all flats. So I want to say it's all flats. All flats, yeah. But you thought you had a drum? Yeah, that's what I was looking like. Y'all, yeah, I'm about to smash, okay? Let's hope Montez gonna be in this video doing all this. I'm sorry. Smacking. I'm sorry, but I'm I'm gonna eat like I'm by, by myself. I'm sorry. I don't, no smacking. I don't care if you're in front of me, I'm gonna eat like how I eat, so. We have some questions that people was asking us and then we have just like some random open discussion stuff that people just thought that we should speak on when it comes to dance ministry so that's what we're gonna do in this video y'all while we eat it my throat is cold mine too because miss shakaya what's her name shakia so Ms. whatever about 30 minutes late <laughs> i'm saying like girl i love french fries Montez, you're doing good. What? I don't hear no smacking. That's because I haven't ate a weed yet. Do you think it's okay to have favorites in a dance ministry? Hmm? No, it's not okay to have favorites. Um, it's not. It's not, especially when you're dealing with a group. Because showing favoritism to one person can really ruin your group mm -hmm. so or that, can, it, that can make the other person feel like they're not good enough mm -hmm. and you don't want that and if you're doing that then you need to stop being a leader of dance because that's not um, how do you think it's okay to steal other dances mm -hmm. it's, it's not okay to steal other dances um it's not you guys it's it's not it's not okay uh, especially from top to bottom now some people think if you do a move from another dancing that you're stealing but i don't necessarily think that is stealing mm -hmm. because that's not the whole entire dance i mean there are millions of dance ministries that does the same dance move mm -hmm. or that does an eight count mm -hmm. so i don't think that's stealing but as far as from beginning to end yeah you just mm -mm, don't do it because that's not that's not your ministry i feel like I agree. I feel like you shouldn't do it. However, I feel like if if somebody did want to use the same routine as somebody, I feel like you should reach out to them and ask their permission. You know, not just splurge off and do it. That's that's disrespectful. I wish y'all yeah. would. But um, I have a question. Um, just on speaking on stealing movements, girl. Okay. Uh, we just talked about people stealing movements. Mm -hmm. Um my question is how do you feel about dance teams or uh um yeah yeah how do you feel about dance teams feeling like they're entitled to a movement? Cause there are certain people that I've experienced with that if they did like a movement They feel or, like it's their movement. Yeah, it's their movement. And can't nobody use it, it no more? Yeah. Absolutely not, because where'd you get it from? Exactly. I'm sure you didn't just, no, no. No, I have an issue with that. You're not entitled to that. No. I if that's the case, that. that means everybody who do that, you do that. So are you walking around saying, that's my that's my signature move? No. Everybody do this. Everybody do this. It's not your move. Everybody do this. It's not your move. These are not hot. I am upset. You stuck your Jesus. You wanted to slurp on that pop so uh, bad. Y'all, I hate when people slurp. It's not soda, it's pop. Soda. What makes you think it's okay? Let's let's discuss this and we can get back to everything. Let's talk about dance ministry. <laughs> We're gonna talk about the Sprite ministry okay. real quick. So, what makes you think it's soda? Please explain that to me. Cause it got fizz in it, soda. If anything, pop because what what is it doing on the inside of the can? It's popping, right? No, popping. The little things are going like this. They're going like. <laughs> it's 
It's not soda, y'all. It's pop. It's not soda. I don't know who came up with that. Hey, buy me a pop. <laughs> no. We're going to agree to disagree. Oh, Do you think it's okay for a little kid to be in the dance ministry but not know how to dance? Mm -mm. I don't want you just standing there not doing nothing. I don't. Sit down. You got to move. <laughs> Sit down or be on the sideline. Because you're in my way, okay? Now, I feel like it's okay if there's like... A baby ministry. Yeah. Yeah. But if you got little kids up there with the big kids and they just standing around, they going like this, or crying for their mom or something. No, you can't. You can't do That's just going to mess up the whole flow, the whole entire flow. Uh -uh. This one, they said, talk about... Views, what are y'all views on people who record videos that be all in the way? Also, they said, talk about the sound man messing up the music. All right, so um, I'm, I'm, I'm going to go first on this one. Um, so as far as people <laughs> being in the way as far as a photographer don't get in my way by the way get up get out my way mm -hmm. yeah if it's if it's not a person that you assign then they need to move get out my way they need to move um as far as the sound um the sound part um some of y'all might not agree with me but it's not necessarily the sound man fault as um as as dancers we should always check with the sound man with our music before. I was just about to say that. Dance. Yeah. Okay, we don't yeah. want to court. Okay. Yeah. We need to always check check with the sound man it's to play our music. That, absolutely. That's why we get to the church thirty minutes early. Absolutely. An hour early. You should never. You you, yes. you should never arrive at the church fifteen minutes before and try to get a sound check in. It's not going to no, happen. That's not going to happen. It's not going to happen. So if your music is tweaking, that's your fault because you should already know what's going on with the sound and all that before you even. Do what you gotta do. Yep. Period. So, yes, honey, you better start, girl, going there on time, honey. Go on time, chef. And we don't gotta keep stopping, repeating, and going back to the beginning. And keep doing this. <laughs> I I hate I hate when I see a dance ministry and they gotta go like this, or they play the music, they be like, no, it no. should because you should already test it. Yeah. We don't have time. Absolutely. I agree. That's just like, what if the praise and worship team get up there and they be like, okay, we got to start over? No. no. Or, or the pastor be like, okay, you got to reintroduce me. No. Right. Mm -mm. No. Have your stuff in order. Have it in order. What I tell y'all in my last video, decency and in order. So if it's not in order, that's your fault. Period. But I also agree that, um, I can agree that they do mess it up a little bit. They do. But still... Cause sometimes when you in the flow and like you'll tell them in the beginning, like it might sound like it's gonna shut off, but do not stop. Oh yeah, then that's and a different thing. And then they thing. do it anyway. Yeah. That could be annoying. That's a like that's thing. something totally different. Yeah. So, other than yeah. that, I hate when they do that too. They hear the music fading. Yeah. Or you might come to part two. Then and I they tell you off. to shut nothing off. Like if we say <laughs> then cut off, but let it play throughout the whole thing. Like we said, it depends. Um, try to do things in order. Go to the uh, church or wherever you're dancing at. Yep. Go there 30 minutes before you are supposed to minister. If you mm -hmm. want to go there an hour before, that's fine. If you have to wait in your car. This one, talk about mentors and leaders. You can take that. <laughs> we both go take it. <laughs> I mean, like, what, what do, like, what do y'all want to know about them? I mean, that's what I'm saying. Like, are you saying talk about them in a good way and in a bad way, or I can't say nothing bad about my mentor. Well, as I'm not, I don't have a mentor. <laughs> so, and that's just that's just been honest. I don't I don't have a mentor as far as helping me um as further um my dance ministry. I don't have I don't have a mentor. I don't have a mentor at all. To be, yeah, any, I think I asked you this life. before. So, like, do you feel like you need a mentor that's actually in your field of ministry? Like, you need somebody to mentor you that's in mime or or praise dance? Um, to be honest, as far as in that um aspect, I necessarily think I don't need a um a mentor because 
I've grown and I'm I'm a leader of my own. Mm -hmm. But I You do, still need somebody to hold you up. Yeah, I know I still need somebody to hold me up on that spiritual side. Mm hmm Yeah. I get it. So pretty much like a, a, a I get it. Mm, so if you're if you're pretty much asking like I don't know, it just says mentors and leaders. Um, um if you want a mentor, I mean I don't I don't know. Okay, if you Okay, this um this one say about this question because I really don't know what, what, what you're trying to mm -mm. ask, but if you want a mentor, <laughs> one Pray about, Pray about it. it. Don't just pick anybody to be a mentor because there, there were plenty. There are plenty of times where people have saw me dance. It was like, I want to be my mentor. I want to be my mentor. But God didn't call me to be your mentor, so I'm not going to be your mentor. Absolutely. Um, two, you, you're not going to know how to handle my mouth because I'm going to tell you how it is. <laughs> um, three, I'm going to make you cry and I won't care. <laughs> um, so yeah, pray yeah. about pray about it. Number two, um, pray hard. Pray hard. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Number two, um, before you want to have a mentor, first they need to know how to accept authority mm -hmm. and um, accept correction. Mm -hmm. um, yep. But if you if you like one of the ones that feel like can't nobody tell you what to do, yeah. and you don't want to listen to nobody, then you don't need a mentor. You yeah. know, just be by yourself. And also, if you ask that person to be your mentor, make sure they're fully committed to to you and to mentor you. Not just partially, but mm -hmm. whole. Mm -hmm. I agree. Because what did you say last time? You was like, sometimes you just need somebody to just call you and just be like, are you okay? Yeah. That are you okay or... Oh, it was it was, it was something. It was, it was something that I wrote. It was something that I wrote. It was like, in this season, I don't need any mentors or mentees. I just need... I, I forgot what it was, but yeah. You want it? Pray about it? You gotta fast about it, fast about it. I don't want to say that you don't need a mentor in in your in dance ministry. However, I would say that I don't agree that you need somebody that mime or you need somebody that prays dance. Yeah, you don't need that. I feel like as long as your mentor has a strong foundation built on the Word of God, right? And they are spiritually influenced, right? And they're under great leadership themselves. Mm -hmm. I feel like they're able to touch every area that you need in your life. Period. Exactly. Period. And if you can't find that in a mentor, then you don't need a mentor. I'm, okay. I'm hitting that application for my iPhone. Because I need, I need a, a new mentor. He ain't handing out no application. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's talk about that, though. Why? Because, like, we mentor ourselves. Mm -hmm. How can you, how can we mentor and you don't have nobody strong holding you up. You know what I mean? Well, let's talk about that. Well, for me, um, I'm just gonna be honest with y'all because I mean, I'm an honest person. Um, for me, um, it's trust issues for me. Um, where people say they were, you know, gonna have my back or, Ooh! you know, gonna do this and that. And it's like, they never pull Who do y'all, me and you, mm -hmm. who do y'all look up to in your respective ministries? Like who's y'all role models? I don't look up to nobody in my in the my ministry or dance ministry. That's I don't. Um. <laughs> I just said I don't look. Mm. I don't. There's nobody um, outside of my ministry. Um, a person, oh, a person that I really do look up to um, is Madison Goo. Also, um, the dancers that are that are within my ministry, as far as the ones that are older than me, um, because they pour, they do pour a lot into me. So when we went back to the um, the, t the question about mentors, um, I kind of feel like they are mentoring me as I'm mentoring them. Um, so I kind of do look up to, um, my, um, teammates because they're, they're pushing all, you. they're always pushing me. Yeah. And I'm always, and I'm always learning something from them. Mm-hmm. Aw, that is so nice, y'all. Y'all got a good leader. Amen. The difference in, um, gift versus ministry. How some people... Um, mix up the gift and the ministry. We'll give you yeah. Okay, I get it. So yeah, that's yeah, yeah. almost like, just because 
you know how to dance doesn't mean you're called to do it. You know, pretty much. If you weren't called to do it, that doesn't mean anything. That's like me. I know how to sing, but am I about to be going around Ooh. here singing stuff? I hate no. singing. I, me too. Like, I don't like singing. My tail sing, I'd be like, no. <laughs> Leave me alone. Yeah. It's a gift. It runs in my family. Mm -hmm. My entire family does it. When we get together, we all sing together. Yep, mom too. But... I mean, I might do something on you Sunday for like the praise team and the I choir. No but outside of that, I'm not walking around here trying to sing this, this, and that because I'm gifted. No. Oh, somebody did say we cool. To, we look like we cool to be around. Mm. I'm just crazy, y'all. I'm sorry. He's crazy. As far as me, I'm I'm nice, but I feel like <laughs> I am nice. Don't do that. Don't be lying. Okay. I'm, I'm nice. Okay. I'm nice and I'm very open to like if you know me, you get the crazy, silly, goofy me. But if you don't know me, I'm very quiet. I think like when I met you and Adriana for the first time, I was quiet. I did I don't think I said a peep. Baby, you ain't talk. Baby, you didn't talk. <laughs> you 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 didn't you didn't say nothing to me until I did a movement. You said, ooh! <laughs> ooh! <laughs> I said, oh now she wanna talk. You ain't say two words to me, nah, man. I be so chill. I man, when you I said, first met y'all, and Nick just take me to the hotel, you know. I ain't said know, two blah, blah, words. Blah. I think uh, Nikki was cooking like every night after we had rehearsal, mm -hmm. and I wasn't going over there. I would just mm -hmm. go straight to the straight hotel because I didn't know anybody outside of Nick and Nikki. So I was just like, uh, yeah. no. <laughs> but I did get to like once I got to know y'all like the third day, second, maybe the third. I started talking to you because then me and you got really close. No. So it depends. Like, you have to be around me for a while. I have to feel your energy, mm -hmm. your vibe. Shout out to Nick for putting this together. Period. I love you, bro. Yeah, y'all. We cool to be around, though. We are. Just, mm -hmm. I just got to warm up to you. Um, What I, else? I told it on my face. <laughs> I mean, because I feel like... What can you possibly talk about to somebody you don't know? Like, what am I supposed to say? I said hi. That's it. That's all. Everyone, like, how can I have a full conversation now? No, we went on about our way, and then when we had to do that coach's dance and we was practicing, you said what? And I said, oh, oh, she good, oh, eh? We got so close, though. Well, so close. Oh yeah. One of my cousins did ask me, like, why you call him your ex best friend? You want to tell them that story? <laughs> Go ahead, tell them the story. Why you? Why I call him my ex best friend? Y'all want to know why? Okay, so. Um, <laughs> Go ahead. When Irma moved to, I think no, you're still in Ohio. Um. What? No, don't try for nothing on Ohio. You know what happened. I missed her wedding, guys. Yep. I missed her wedding because yep. we had our mom camp. But I was heated because I feel like, dude, you supposed to be my best friend. And I wanted him in the wedding, y'all. All of that. Like, I was so upset because y'all know why I was really upset. I had looked up. And you was in somebody else's wedding. So I said, congratulations to my best friend. And I said, that's oh, my sister. Oh, that's my sister. I Friendship done. I don't think I even wanted to see your face <laughs> for a minute. I'm like, I am so done. That was man. my sister. I was hurt, but it's over with. Now I don't care. That no was more. my sister, man. So what was I? And I was a I was a man of honor. So what was I? Best friend. I was so hurt, y'all. My feelings was hurt. First of all, they tried getting you there for the the proposal. Right? They did. And you didn't show up for that. I think you couldn't. I couldn't. So I'm thinking, okay, well, since you couldn't show up for the proposal, that's okay. We still got the wedding. Niglet. This niglet didn't show up for the wedding either. I'm sorry. It's okay. I'll be at your wedding. Period. I don't care what I got to do. I'm canceling everything. And I'm going. Period. <laughs> I'm single again. I'm back on the prize. I thought it was perfect. <laughs> <laughs> it was me! Me, not me! <laughs> Has there ever been a time 
Well, damn, you dance by yourself. Nope. Um. <laughs> Who I dance with besides y'all? I'm I'm. <laughs> so, well, yeah, you only dance with us. So, has there ever been a time where you your mind just totally went blank and you didn't know the choreography? Mm -hmm. But what if? But what? If, but what if it's your choreography that you made it up? <laughs> you just went blank. <laughs> Let's talk about this though. What age level do you love to work with? <clears throat> or, yeah. Okay, well, I'll just go. <laughs> okay. Right. Uh uh, because you about to smack. So, that's my body. The age level that I like working with. You very much um, my age group. You say my age group, I'm gonna be mad. 11, 12, 13. Or teens. Oh, God. Teens that are 13, 14, 15. Because, all right, I, I'll say seven, no, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. I, no more than that. Because once you, it be the older ones that be trying to clown around. Think it's a game, think it's a joke, don't want to take it serious. You been in my practices? No. I throw chairs. <laughs> you want to talk? All right. Talk I don't got chair. time for it, but I, I love I love working <clears throat> with little kids. Like I don't. They, I do. I love working with little kids. Yeah. I'm like, <laughs> shut up and come on. <laughs> yeah, your first move is this. They're all not bad. It depends. But you can get it out of them though. You know what I mean? It's like you can get more out of that child mm -hmm. than you can someone that's like older than them. Better I ain't got time to fool with no attitudes because my attitude already terrible. Okay. Let's talk about. Okay, too. Let's talk about presenting yourself for ministry. Let's talk about it, especially for mimes. Um, I how can I put it? I feel like a lot of you should, maybe we should do one day. We should do a video on how to put the mind paint on. Cause some of y'all mind paint be looking like chalk. <laughs> Tell me I'll be looking like powder. <laughs> y'all need to learn how to cover up. Boys need to get oh, stuff yes. that is bigger. Yes, yes, I'm really Boys good. need to get oh. stuff that is an extra size or mm -hmm. go two sizes up. I go two sizes up. Um, and also women. Y'all need to make sure these girls are secured. Mm -hmm. Wear a sports bra, get an ace bandage, and wrap up. Do something, okay? Get some band-aids and put some tapes on them things. Okay. Band-aids? <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying, okay? Oh, my God. Everybody in the church ain't saying. Something that really irks me is when um your ministry... And you don't know the lyrics to what you're ministering to. And your movements don't match. Yeah, it's delayed. <laughs> for the for, for the power of the Holy Ghost. Shut up! We need Shut up! We need the spirit. We need the spirit. All right, uh, uh, we're going to demonstrate. I'm going to sing a song. <laughs> All right. Uh, we need you. Oh, how we need you. Oh, oh. Did you listen to the song? Do you know the lyrics? Did God tell you to do that song? I don't think so. I we need you to sit down. <laughs> oh, how we need you to sit down. You'll be delayed. I'll be like, what is going on? Oh, they be like, we need you. They be like, we need you. What? We need you. We need you. <laughs> We need. Why is it? I have a question. Oh I, have, I have a question for all my mimers. I have a question for all my mimers. Oh, all my mimers. Because I'm a mimer. So all my mimers. Why is it when we get stuck or we don't know what's song, we go straight to this move? Why? We go straight to <laughs> this. Like this. 
They be like this. <laughs> Why do we go straight to that move? <laughs> or, they, or they just look like this. Y'all always do that y'all don't know what to do. Because <laughs> they're using their expressions. And praise the actress. Stop spinning because you don't know what to do. Oh, we always gotta do a spin. Y'all be looking like y'all in some type of ballet. <laughs> I be like, uh-uh. Is it okay to continue to use the same girl or boy over and over for a dance solo? Oh, um. I say no. It's not cool. Okay. Well, that ties me. Well, my answer to that ties me back to what I said about the favorites. Yeah. You don't want them to feel like they just suck. <laughs> yeah, you're not giving other people opportunities. And if you're such a good dancer, why you ain't pulling out? <laughs> if you're such a good leader, then you shouldn't have to continue to use that same person over and over because yeah. you should be able to pull out what is missing inside of them, period. And yeah. if you can't, then you you don't know what you're doing. And all have that person that you keep picking on get the big head. Mm-mm, because they will. They feel like, I'm the best one in the group. So I think we should do no, this and we should not. do that. Yeah. That's when you know you look up and they trying to tell you what to do. And who's the leader, them or you? That's when I throw a chair. <laughs> so how do you feel about dancers laying hands on people? You said it because I be doing that. No. I'm just playing. I um, do it. But I'm saying some people um, do it outside of being called to do it. I feel like if you're not called to do it, right. don't do it. It's not a game. And if you feel like you might go lay hands on some people, don't don't tempt to do it unless you know that it is God that's telling you to do it. Um, laying hands on people is um is a serious thing. Cause if you're not in the right mindset, or you have you can transfer spirits into them. What? So I really, really, I really, really advise you not to lay hands on people if you know you're not called Ooh. to. So okay. don't do it. I agree. And just because you see somebody doing it, I mean, you, you do, can it. do it. Because it's like the whole dance community and my community wants to lay hands, lay hands and that's on that's not people cool. And want to prophesy to people when they know they're not prophets or they they don't have mm -hmm. the gift of prophesying. Speaking of that, when we did a video couple weeks ago mm -hmm. you were you was explaining to me the whole purpose of prophetic dance mm -hmm. can you break that down to me um <laughs> i'm just going to be real with, with y'all uh if this hurts your feelings i really don't care this is my truth my opinion um with the whole prophetic dancing <laughs> everybody doesn't have that gift of being a prophetic dancer um i don't think you can teach how to be a prophet and dancer, that's just like a prophet trying to teach somebody to be a prophet. Yeah, or that's no. like somebody trying to teach you how to speak in tongues. Right. There's there's no what? there's you you you, you can't teach you can't teach that. God has to give you that. So there so when people try to teach on prophetic dancing, I don't know. You you, you can't teach that to me. Okay, so what when so what are you doing to be titled prophetic dancing? Like, what are you doing? Um, I'm trying to answer it the best way I can. I just know in my personal experience, um, because everyone knows I don't like to one lay hands on people. I don't like to speak over a microphone, speak over you know a church or nothing. I don't like doing that at all. But when God leads me, because He leads me through my dancing, that's how He gets to me, and that's how the prophetic starts to you know stir up in me once i'm in that moment with him uh he starts to speak to me like such and such and such and such go tell that person mm -hmm. you know that's that how it happens to me that's lot. that's how it happens for me yes um so but i never but i okay i guess i'm asking because the same thing works for me mm -hmm. and it's like i don't call myself a prophetic dancer and that's that's what i said i don't call my, i don't call myself a prophet i just know god gave me the gift you know in dance ministry so i know i'm a minister of dance right because one i am ordained as a minister of dance right and two god gave me that gift but i don't call myself a prophet because i'm not a prophet god just uses me at certain times to speak to people he doesn't use me every time i dance mm -hmm. he doesn't use me every time i'm on the platform mm -hmm. so i don't call myself a prophetic dancer just because god gave you a word one time doesn't mean you're a prophet 
That's so true. And that's what people don't understand. Just because God gave you it one time, now you think you're a prophet mm -hmm. and you're a dancer. So you're trying to put the two together. I'm a prophetic dancer. No, you're a dancer and you just got a word from God one time. Yeah, he just so used you. He, he just say, oh, oh. Y'all asked us some stuff. We discussed it. Hopefully we answered everything correctly. Yeah, guys. Um, <clears throat> um, dance ministry um and praise team working together why you ask me why you gotta ask me <laughs> i mean i feel like i've seen it done before plenty of times and i don't i don't think there's anything wrong with it if mm -hmm. they're flowing mm -hmm. on the same level mm -hmm. spiritually but if the praise scene is in the spirit and you're not, that just throws it off. Just walk off. Yeah. Just walk off. Yeah, absolutely. Just walk okay. off. Just okay. Time for Tommy Bye Bye. Okay. So, um, for me. You don't like it? For me, it's, it's, it's not a problem, but... Just me being a leader, I have to know what the praise team is going to do as far as their movement. Yeah, that's why you're supposed to go to the rehearsal. I feel like if you don't, if that's what that's how y'all going to be on one accord. How y'all yeah. going to be on one accord and they at church rehearsing and you at home eating. Right. You got it? And then. Okay, since we on that, how do you like it when. Oh, my gosh. Oh. How do you like it when. Girl, I'm eating. What bang? <laughs> how do I like it when you That's so annoying. Okay, man. Okay, how do you... Okay, how can I put it? So, how do you feel about after you get done ministering, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, say like the song go off and mm -hmm. then the praise scene come in and start singing more of it. Would you walk off or would you still be going? Um, if I'm if I'm in the spirit and mm -hmm. you know I'm yeah, da, 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 all of that, mm -hmm. I might just stay stay down there and worship. Mm -hmm. But if I'm not in the person you want to sing, continue. You can sing <laughs> it. I'm not going to be up there and don't be asking us to come dance because we're not. I can't stand him. I cannot stand him. I feel like the only person I think that I would do that. Well, the only time I will continue is like you said, if they are. If the spirit is really going, you mm -hmm. know, if the spirit is really going, then I will continue. But other than that, I'm walking off. I'm done. I'm tired. I already be tired. If y'all know me, y'all know I already be tired. Yes. So I'm, I'm walking off. <laughs> okay. I'm walking off. I'm done. I have a question for you. Okay. Um, If you had the opportunity to minister with um anyone like... You know, we just got on the topic of praise, um, oh praise, praise teams and dancers oh ministering together. If you had the opportunity to minister with any anyone as far as a celebrity or like a praise team at the church, who would it be? Wait, wait, ask that again. If you had the opportunity to minister with like any like worship leader, oh, Todd Golfers, period. You've been so good. That's all he's saying. I love him. Okay. Let him call. Let him call and say he need my ministry. I'm jumping up. I don't care if it's two o'clock in the morning. Okay, that's it. That's all. That's all. That's all. Don't do that because he is bomb. Okay. Mm -hmm. Have you heard him sing "Reckless Love"? Have you heard him sing? Uh, oh, the reckless. <laughs> you are my strength. Don't do that. Don't do that. Anyway, I love um, you. Yeah. I say Todd Galbraith. Okay. Benita Jones. Yeah. That's what, that's what I want to work with. Benita Jones, I definitely want to work with her. Mm -hmm. um, who else? Do I have to just be a praise and worship leader? Because if mm -hmm. T.D. Jakes call, I'm gone. Oh, we are. Well, I need a bottom call. I'm, I'm gone. gone. <laughs> I'm sorry. Uh, um, Cheryl Brady call. I'm gone. I am gone. Gone. I would. I would go with. Bonita, of course. Bonita, yeah. Um, Down, Bonita. I would definitely go to... Tasha um, Cobbs. You can't leave Tasha Cobbs. I'm sorry. I would definitely go with Embassy Worship. Oh, yeah. Embassy Worship. They're cool. Hands down. They're cool. Um, I would love to minister at Todd's Church in Orlando. I would love to minister. There's one more person I, I would want to um call out with. Shauna Wilson. I would say Shauna Wilson. She's, she's good. She's cool. She's good. Who else? It's one more person, though. 
I would love to choreograph with Kiera. Oh God, no. <laughs> I will no, I'm, no. I'm saying no, 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 no. I'm saying like choreograph her stuff because now she's getting like I've seen her, like her virtual tours and stuff, and she have dancers. So I love to choreograph for her. I like to choreograph for a lot of people. Her, Anthony Brown, therapy. Um, do we love being outside? <laughs> do we love nature? Where? All his I mom loves him too. And every time she watches video, I'm like, why he goes outside in some woods? He or loves, he loves the nature. Oh, I mean, I was just asking. I mean, everybody got a story behind their ministry, honey. But my top will be Benita, like I said. Yeah, I guess for Todd all day. And LeBron, let LeBron friend call me. Listen, I, I will work for you. Listen, <laughs> I will work for you. Period. All Nations, y'all need a, um, a, a, a choreographer director. He ain't All Nations no more. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> La friend, la church, la friend church, la friend, the, the, the friends. I love y'all. I love his wife. I love you, Panika. Yes, I love her. She is so real. Like she will catch a case for her man. Okay, and her whole family. Period. I'm Thanks for stopping by this channel, y'all. Please make sure y'all subscribe. Make sure y'all like. Make sure y'all share. Um, hit us up if y'all want to talk about some more stuff. Mm -hmm. Both of us is real, so we gonna let you know what it is when it comes to dance ministry. Mm -hmm. Period. Not gonna care about how anybody feel. We are gonna tell you how how it is. How we feel. Special oh. reactions. Thanks for being on my show, Montez. I my really appreciate good. it. Thanks for eating with me. I don't know what you're dealing with. I don't know what you're going through. But I got a word. I got a word. You're going to live to see it happen. Whatever the Lord has promised you. You're going to live to see it happen.